Fog Wrestling, back again with another video, and guess what, Jeff Hardy, right, this is a, um, they should have used different words here, definitely, Jeff Hardy planning to end his wrestling career on a extremely high note. Now, if you see the problem with that, then you know what you're on about, if you don't, well, let me just explain it to you, Jeff Hardy, he likes to get high, and uh, not on ladders, well, he does like to get high on ladders, I guess, but, you know, he likes to get high by any means necessary, so that is a very particular choice of words there, and uh, that's no good, that's no good, but of course, he did, like, retire on Rampage, but then said he'd retired from doing all this stupid stuff, screwing up, Um, if you want to go see more of the thoughts on that, go check out the Rampage review that was uploaded yesterday, but, you know, he says he wants to end his wrestling career on an extremely high note, and I've kind of discussed it, like I said, in the Rampage review, right, but Hoy is, Hoy is coming back to AEW, right, to be in a team, with Hook and Asaya, the guy goes, oh yeah, but see how see his gimmick, man. That is the gimmick of like thirteen year olds across the country, across the fucking globe, doing that meme. Oh yeah, that's his gimmick. See if The Rock came out in 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 the late nineties, and his entire gimmick was, oh yeah, uh, uh. what? Would would The Rock have took off? No, and Asaya was Asaya Maxwell. I don't even know what his second name is personally. I don't really care what his second name is. But your gimmick cannot be going. Oh yeah, no, that's not your gimmick, mate. You need to scrap your gimmick. And the fact that the Hardy Boys, yes, the Hardy Boys are being watered down to a level with this guy, man, is disgraceful. I, I don't know what. And then you just got hooked on like this. Oh, you stand there like this. <sighs> Dunnin, dunnin, dunnin. <coughs> hook. Windy liquor, man. Honestly, absolute windy liquor hook is. And they're feuding with four bums. Four bums, honestly. The promo on Rampage in itself was absolutely horrendous. He's like, oh, that's okay, Matt. Because, hmm, um, yeah, we'll give you a bit more time. No. Yeah, get, give us, there's no enough time. There's, there's, there's too much time dedicated to this feud. Get the Hardy Boys out of there. And, and give them something, man. Like, imagine MJF against the Hardy Boys in a triple threat match for the fucking title. There you go. Boom. Boom. Come on. Is that, is that, is that not... Is, can that no happen? Can that no happen? Stack the ads. The ads. Get, stack the odds against the heel. How good would that be? The Hardy Boys. And he can still win by being a heelish fuck. But no. Our name's Tony Khan. And we love AEW. We love... We love MJF feuding with Darby Allen And... The, the, uh, fucking Darby Allen's a weirdo watching... An interview between him, Gigi Dolan, and some other fucking cretin, man. Oh, three Mongols, man. Honestly. Anyway, into the final bit of news, and it's a bit of sad news. Kurt Angle says he's probably going to have neck fusion surgery. During this podcast, Hall of Famer Kurt Angle comments on health issues have affected his ability to play with his kid. You're a boy, and I'm a man, and you're a boy in a man's world, and I love... Playing with boy. Whoa, ho, brother, testify, Kurt. Come on, what are you then? The crazy thing is, I haven't been able to play with him the way I want to because my knees were replaced and my back surgery. Before that, it was all bothering me. I was really messed up. My neck is messed up. Next is my neck surgery. I'm probably going to have fusion next year. Hopefully, that'll help my body and eventually I'll be able to play with my kids. My knees have been able to come out of that pretty good. Once my back heals, I'll start being able to play with my kids, throw them about the pool, cat, carry them on my back, doing that kind of stuff. I want to be able to be a real father to my kids. I don't think anyone. In the world, is going to begrudge Kurt Angle being a real dad. These kids, I uh, love Kurt Angle. You know what? He gave us some of the greatest moments, comedy, wrestling matches. He fucking, I mean, honestly, see it of all time, an all rounder. Kurt Angle's probably the best. He is. He's fucking phenomenal. Love the guy. He's he's brilliant. He's fucking. I mean, not that I've just got a hard on for Kurt Angle all of a sudden, but he is. You see, we think of two guys that are two all round. Him and Shawn Michaels. To comedy, um, promos, ability, I mean, longevity, everything they've get, they've get everything, man. They, 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 and you know they're, I mean, I know they've, I know they look like fucking retards now. Well, especially Shawn Michaels. Kurt doesn't look too bad now, but I mean, he's got his knees replaced, and he's he's but he's like us. If he was doing a webcam, he'd be doing here. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Love them both, and uh, I childhood favorites: Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels. Royal Rumble 2005, Steel Steps to the Dome. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take some of Jeff Hardy's supply. And uh, aye, because he won't be needing it anymore, will he? But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. And that is it here for Fog Wrestling. Till next time, though. Leave your thoughts down below. And also, the Fight Forever game.
been delayed. Shockadoo!